Hey baby girl, are you lost? <laughs> so you guys have been asking me to do a makeup tutorial, so that is what we are doing today. So I am getting ready to do a TikTok kind of Halloween thing. So I decided to do a Halloween inspired look. So the palettes that I will be using today are the 3503 Fierce by Nature palette, Toasted Tarte palette, and the Profusion Upbeat Orange palette. This palette is $5. You can find it at Walmart. Honestly, if you are looking for a really good orange palette that's super affordable, this is the one to go with. I was shocked when I got this. So these are the three palettes that I will be using to make this look. Let's get into it. So to start this look off, I am going to be prepping my eyes with the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer. I'm just going to be putting it on my eye real quick. It's supposed to help make your eyes pop. I also want to go ahead and say that I am not a professional makeup artist by any means necessary. I'm also pretty new at this. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just do what works for me and yeah so I am also going to put on these under eye protectors they help with fallout and they're gonna help me guide where I want everything to go and they're they're gonna help me with my eyeliner they hurt taking them off but it's fine And I will also link them below. I should have put them on first before my concealer, but it is what it is. And I'm also just gonna take a, a Q-tip and I'm just gonna spread my concealer around real quick. Okay, so now I'm going to take the M321 brush by Morphe and the Toasted Palette by Tarte. I'm going to dip into the Sunset very lightly and I'm gonna go around the edge real quick. And I'm just gonna, you know, just very lightly go around the edge. I just want to bring a little bit of color to the outside. And it doesn't matter, I'm gonna blend it anyways. But I just want a little bit of color on the outside. And then I'm going to dip into the s'mores color and I'm going to really blend it on the outside right there. Really, really blend that. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Like right there on the corner. And then I'm going to go to the bridge. So now taking an extremely fluffy brush, I'm taking the E22 and I'm going into, I'm, I feel like I'm moving really, really fast in this, but that's totally okay. I'm going into my Upbeat Orange palette. I'm going to dip into the Unwind real quick. I haven't dipped into this palette in a while, so I just wanna see what Unwind has to offer real quick. and just come into the corner. It's a real soft kind of orange, so I'm gonna do the same to the other side real quick. So then I'm going to dip into Beat. If I have the names for this stuff, I most definitely will tell you guys, but most of the time I don't. But dipping into Beat, I'm gonna go ahead and just pack that in. I know Beat is like a really bright color. goes into almost like a sunset effect it's really pretty and I'm not tapping my brushes because I have these things under usually I tap my brushes but I'm not really worried about it and I'm really really packing in that orange though now when I say I'm new to makeup and like I've only been doing it for like a year I mean like, I've only been taking it seriously 
for like a year. Like I have done my makeup before, but like I never used to take it serious. Like it was never my thing. I never used to do all this. Like it wasn't fun for me. This is fun. I find this entertaining, I don't know. 3-5, my Fierce by Nature palette. I'm going to dip into this really dark orange shade right here, kind of lightly, and I'm going to tap it, and I'm going to come into the corner, and I'm just going to lightly come out, just ever so lightly. And just work the colors through. So, I don't know if most of you guys know this. My dad is very, very artistic. Like, extremely artistic. So, that could be where I get this side from. Because, like, my sister is also. She can draw like you wouldn't believe. However, I cannot. Because a lot of people are telling me, like, I am extremely talented and like I take that to heart thank you and like it truly means a lot to me because I don't see a lot of talent in myself with a lot of things so like when people tell me that makeup is something that I'm very talented in I take a lot of pride in that like thank you I practice a lot and I don't do a lot of crazy stuff with it either like I see some people like doing uh, special effects and stuff like that's not the kind of stuff that I do like I'll do one day I'll do a butterfly That's about as crazy as you're gonna get from me probably but Yeah, I mean maybe one day, but I'm not there yet This is your reminder to drink some like water or something my stomach can't handle water so drink something So now I'm gonna do my eyeliner so let's move you closer because I don't do eyeliner like a normal person. I'm sorry I did that close up. I use eyeshadow to do eyeliner. So I'm going to use my 305. I am going to use an angled brush. I'm going to show you. So let's get into it. And I'm just going to speed it up so it's easier. So I see in the um the 305 that there is a little see what I just dipped my finger in? I'm gonna put that on. So you guys ready for this? I'm pulling here. I cry every time. So let me go ahead and fix my mistake. All right, so we're gonna get started on my foundation. So I use the L'Oreal Invaluable Foundation. Sometimes I use a primer, most of the time I don't. I literally only use a primer when I'm going out. I'm gonna be taking this makeup off in like 30 minutes, so there's literally no point for me to use a primer. If I was gonna be wearing this makeup like throughout the day, then yeah, I would wanna prep and prime my skin to like make it last but like it doesn't need to last for anything you know what I'm saying like she's fine I never thought I'd be one of those people that repeatedly hits themselves in the face with a ball but here I am make sure you blend into the neck it's uncomfortable I know so my bronzer I literally don't use any other bronzer. This is my favorite. Um, Physicians Formula, the Butter X Casey Collection. Look, I just can't get away from it. It's my favorite. I think it's discontinued. 
like I think it was just like a like a one-time thing it was just a collection and I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out I hope that look at that skinny nose I hope I bought two of them um, because I'm at the pan for that one because I don't know what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out my nose because I don't normally do that first I use a little beauty sponge to blend out my nose um, but yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do so pray for me on that one but I use um, an angled wet n wild brush for blending out my contour so we'll do both at the same time because why not it's not done yet on my nose though I'm gonna leave the rest for my concealer my favorite that's my favorite um, highlight too hopefully they have like one similar to it maybe I'm just tripping for no reason I usually use hard candy blush but I'm gonna try a different blush today um, I've used the physicians formula blush once but I feel like using their blush since I'm hyping up the the collection why not let's try it I need to go to the dollar store this brush is falling apart I need to get a new one okay so I'm gonna use my hydrating camo concealer I always do a little dot right there I'm gonna do the t-zone like that today because I felt like it that's why Twenty has been rough for everybody. All right, so now I'm gonna do. I don't feel like I need a ton under my eye today. So I definitely need you guys to leave some suggestions for makeup looks in the comments I will be picking some to do for future YouTube videos okay I need to look at this real quick up close and personal all right so I just put powder on my face I put in the loose powder by Maybelline this is the fit me powder my favorite and I'm gonna just wipe off the excess and then I'm going to use another angled brush and I'm going to use the Physicians Formula blush, which I could see being super pigmented. It's actually not like overwhelming. I always do that with my nose for some reason. Okay, so I'm going to use, since I'm hyping this palette up, I'm going to use the Physicians Formulas Highlighter too. I don't even know what kind of brush this is called. It's just like this. I don't know. And there's no name on this brush, so and we're just going to go like that. I love this highlighter, I swear. Okay, you see? You're ready. Absolutely insane. Come on. Fave. Fave, fave, fave. So then in the corner of my eyes, Illuminati Highlighter by Wet n Wild, I feel like it's appropriate. And I'm also going to take the same brush and I'm going to take that orange underneath my eye. And I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Okay, back up I'm gonna need you to back up thank you so I'm going to take Lash Paradise volumous 
and Lashtopia by Bare Minerals. And I'm gonna put those two together. Girl, you know. No, I need to do this in a mirror. <laughs> so I feel like this Bare Minerals one, and then I'm gonna take this Lash Princess and I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. Okay, so to complete this look, I am going to do a couple things. One, I'm going to kind of like do up my hair a little bit. I think I'm going to do a quick kind of like curl and then I'm going to um, black lipstick on because it's spooky season and I'll show you the finished product. Hey baby girl, are you lost? <laughs> I cannot take myself seriously. I am so sorry. <laughs> so this is the look, my camera is also dying. So I decided that this look would look best with a messy bun. And that's what I came up with. Like when I looked in the mirror, I threw my hair up and I was like, honestly, like this looks like a scary movie type of look so I liked it better with the little things on the side yeah this is the look so that is all I got for you guys today I love you and thank you so much for being here if you guys want to see more of these videos let me know also leave some comments down below leave also leave a suggestion um, for a makeup look and maybe I will go off of your I love you guys and I will be here tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day.